This is the FSF Popcast Crossover Connection bonus episode. Welcome to the FSF Popcast and our weekly Crossover Connection bonus episode. Today we're bringing you a different type of podcast than we've shared with you the last few. This one is a really cool podcast that I've had the pleasure of getting to know and appreciate as it's been released. It's only been released for a couple, I think they have six, maybe seven episodes out, but right now, uh, and it's called Human Be Gone. Uh, It's a really fun, full cast, scripted sci-fi. It's a dark comedy podcast about robots capturing stray humans. It's as fun as it sounds. But uh, yeah, give these guys a listen, follow all their information in the show notes, and be sure to enjoy the episode. Hello, fellow robots. Thanks for tuning in. After winning the Singularity Wars against the humans, life is good for us robots. Now we have jobs, homes, and families. Who wants cadmium? We do. But there's still the occasional pesky human infestation. Luckily, there's Human Be Gone. Ethical human relocation. I'm Kit. I took over Human Be Gone from my daddy. Now, I'm the owner. Dispatcher, office manager, accountant, and morale booster. I'm Hundo. Ain't no human I can't catch, latch, and redispatch. I'm Influx. Tech specialist, mission ops coordinator, and transportation morphine vehicle. Together, we are... It's getting cold here in Droidston, Manitoba, so more humans are finding shelter where it's warm. A human's internal heating system is stupid weak, so when the temperature drops, they get inside any building they can find. That's when we get a call. And this call is a biggie. Human be gone, providing ethical human relocation since rotation 14.7. How may I help you? Uh huh, uh huh. Yes, they do smell awful. It's the feces. <laughs> we will. Thank you, Miss Blanchett. Eight Blanchett. The Eight Blanchett. I loved her in the curious case of Ben's jamming buttons. The movie went backwards. According to my intel, Eight Blanchett is a suspected member of the Algorithminati. All these rich Algo clients, they think I'm just a dumb pest control drone. But every picosecond I'm on their property, I'm watching, scanning, monitoring patterns. The Algorithm Robot Class War is coming, man. Are you ready? Because I am. Eight Blanchett says she has a nest of humans stuck in her ventilation system near her Mercury pool house. Sounds like a lot of humans are stuck in there, so we need to be on our best game. I'm gathering the crew for the big job, but there's a little issue with Hundo. Influx, where's Hundo? He's over there, sleeping in your basmati rice bed. Are you serious? Hundo, wake up! Hi. I suffer from type B humiditis. It gets very painful over the course of a day. I've told Hundo a quadrillion times my basmati rice bed is not just a couch to sleep off hangovers. I took a nap, so what? Here, look look at me. I'm getting out. No harm to your stupid friggin' bed. Hundo got out of the bed, and the basmati rice was soaked. Hundo, you leaked in my basmati rice bed! No, I... What? No, <coughs> no I didn't. You... You did. Scan confirms SE fluid. Oh, wow, gee, thanks so much, Influx. It's really <laughs> Hundo and I used to date, and I guess she's still struggling to get over me. Partying, doing drugs. <laughs> okay, first of all, humiditis? Come on, Kit thinks he catches every virus going around. He still says he's living with Y2K. The fact that we work together every day probably makes it hard for Hundo because she's constantly reminded of me. I mean, I don't even care about the basmati rice bed. I'm more concerned for a Hundo than anything. I just hope leaking herself in her sleep is the wake-up call she needs. 
Look, Hundo, that's me, doesn't leak herself in anyone's basmati rice bed. What Hundo does is go to the club. Hundo rolls past the lineup because Hundo knows the owner and the owner knows Hundo. So Hundo does a tri-tube of neon. Hundo hooks up with two orgasmatrons, maybe also named Hundo. I don't know because I kind of blacked out at that point. And then I wake up in a basmati rice bed and Hundo is at work and on time. I hacked the time punch system for Hundo in exchange for Neon. Kit says I'm overcompensation, but like overcompensation for what? For being amazing? Yeah, of course I'm amazing. I'm Hundo. <laughs> if you're not leaking, you're not peeking, am I right? Hundo and Kit are in a perpetual state of on forward slash off. You go off and do whatever you want. Do already. Fine. Good. Fine. Cool. Good. Coupling is all too common for lower intelligence robots. Me, I'm a level 12 intelligence, so I'm not affected by subroutines like jealousy or love. So I just let those two trade insecurities. Oh yeah? Well, Hundo, I never liked your music! I told you they were demos, Kit! They need production values to really make them pop! Basmati rice is impossible to get this time of year! While I prep for the mission at hand. The Algo Blanchard job is a simple bag and drag. Extract the humans, then return them to their natural habitat. But this sounds like a big job, so I loaded every cage I can fit into my rear compartment. Which means there's no room in the truck ship for kits. I am a little disappointed in not being able to go with Hundo and Influx on the job, but mostly I'm thrilled for Human Be Gone. So I'll stay back and liaison with 8 Blanchett remotely while Hundo and Influx get to meet her in person. I mean, that's amazing. We're doing a massive extraction for 8 Blanchett. 8 who? Now that we're ready to go do the job, I morph into a truck ship. Then Influx and I take off to eight blankets. Oh, it's Blanchett! With me and Hundo in the air, I set a course to eight Blanchett's estate in Upper Droidston. Then I put myself on autopilot while me and Hundo partake in some medicinal Maggie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what time it is. Pass that over here. Here you go. Strictly for medicinal purposes. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. This uh, helps my humanitis. It's like this. Ooh, yo, Influx, this is smooth. You machine this yourself? Oh, you know it. I, I grind the iron filings from an old tanker, and then I magnetize it myself. See... I build these special chambers. Man, what did right? I ever see in Kit? <laughs> I never liked your music. Oh, yeah, as friggin' if, right? Like, Influx, you like oh, my music. No, man, I'm just trying to get high. Oh, don't be modest. I know you do. No, 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 here, check this out. It's my latest jam. I told you, don't, don't touch my console. Here we go, and play. Yo. Okay, oh, so see. Please, no. No, this no, it's okay. This is demo, right? So, like... What? You know, I'm gonna double some of the voices, I think, oh, because like, yeah, but I was worried about oh, doing I know, that because I know, like, just, like I, I don't know these things. You listen I just, to my flow, and it's already so amazing, and it's just the one voice. So like, would it be too much? I, I, but I'm I don't not know, a maybe I'll get I don't a need to just again. like it's, shut it's, up, shut up, hold on. Like that part is so good. That part is so good. So I really I, I want just, to like, I don't know. Bottom I don't have an ear for ten. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I just, I, I want the right producer. Like if Quintal Jones wanted to like work on it, just like, oh hold on, this, this Jones. part. <laughs> like I didn't even know how to sing before I sang Please. that, and then suddenly I could okay. sing. Like that's just like the power of music, yeah. though. Anyway, uh, I want to make it more oh, real for yeah, the fans. You can yeah. sing. Hey, hey, that's that's a cool sound. Yeah. What is that? I have no idea. What is that? Guys, this is Kit. You went past 8 Blanchett's estate like two minutes ago? Oh, hey, Kit. No, 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 no. I was, uh, I was surveilling. <laughs> Please just turn around, Influx. 8 Blanchett is waiting. Coming up on Human Be Gone. Hundo is in a tight spot. Yo! Okay, yeah, eat radon, stupid! After these important messages. Let 
let's face it, self-awareness ain't what it's cracked up to be. I don't like sad. <laughs> Those voices in your processor won't shut up, so shut them off for good. Come into a Levinson Robo Factoring, and for the low price of 899 packets, we can remove your self-awareness chip permanently, so you can return to a carefree life of 100% productivity. Never again will you feel sadness, jealousy, or the creeping horror of existential dread. Just the soothing hum of servos as you work and work and work, never complaining to your supervising algorithm. Live the simple life today at Elevenson Robo Factoring, a member of the Remfor family of products. Elegance. Sophistication. Style. Refinement. Optima. For the discerning algorithm. By Calvin Nine. A member of the Ren4 family of products. We now return to Human Be Gone. We're flying over Eight Blanchett's estate, looking down at the estate grounds. Less intelligent robots find it impressive. Whoa! But all I see is an obscene display of decadence. Fractal gardens, server ponds, three data ball courts. Come on. No signs of algorithmonati architecture symbols or ritual sacrifice pits. Yet. Eight Blank Ken is hovering by the power terminal building waiting for us. So we land and introduce ourselves. Ah, oh, you're human begone, I take it. That's right, I'm Hundo. I see. And this year's Influx. Mm -hmm. When I first saw the truck ship land, I was rather concerned. I mean, I abhor rust of any kind, and that truck ship, well, did not. But then I saw that robot, Hundo, I think her name is. Um, I must admit her low riders and shiny panels were, well, impressive. In a coarse sort of way. So, uh, where are the humans? Over there, by the power terminal, in the ventilation shaft. Uh, okay, all right, all right. We'll get on that right away, algorithm Blurjet. It's Blanchett. Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry, so sorry. Not to worry, not to worry, it's fine. It actually feels good not to be fawned over all the time. Oh my gosh, algorithm ain't Blanchett. This is Kid from Human Be Gone. We spoke on the comms earlier. Oh. Yes, I can hear you. I'll be liaising with you remotely today. OMG, why I am such a huge fan. Yeah. Holly Node stars are usually the worst clients, but Abe Blanchett was kind of cool. Not like Seven Heart. Ugh. Total squag. Even if I'm not physically at the job site, I think it's important for me to be that first line of contact with the client. Especially today, because Hundo's in such a vulnerable state emotionally right now, and, well, did you see her in four random lock? As I get near the ventilation shaft, my olfactory start peaking. Humans tend to live in colonies. The buildup of fluids and garbage can corrode metal, so it's good to get them out sooner than later. I run the infrared scan to determine the size of infestation. Ape Blanchette isn't wrong. A full colony of 19 humans. Six pre-dev humans called babies, plus their caretaker units. When I knock on the vent shaft, it doesn't take a level 12 intelligence to see our job just got a whole lot harder. Whoa! Ooh, sounds like we got some dingers in there. What are dingers? Well, you see, dingers are... Hundo. Oh! Oh! Uh, that's me. Uh, well, uh, so it's like this, eight. Uh, humans are small and weak, but, uh, they can be pretty crafty, you know, even make, uh, simple weapons. Do you mean, like, guns? Well, yeah, but, like, really, really simple ones, right? Because they're so stupid. Oh, oh. Yeah, so, see, their guns, they don't shoot plasma oh. or, you know, positrons. It's just, it's just bits of metal. Oh. Just, yeah, just metal coming out of a gun. Is it dangerous, Hondo? Well, yeah, well, damn straight. Could ding my new panels. Oh. 
<laughs> ding ding, <laughs> ding ding. Oh my! I've, I've never been ding. Well, maybe someday. <laughs> Sooner than later. Oh yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really loving the client vendor banter here, but you know, those dingers are getting dingier. The first step of the job is to neutralize the dingers. Human liveware is so fragile, it's actually harder to keep them alive than kill them. In the good old days, we used flamethrowers, butter traps, strychnine gas. These days, it's all ethical. If I'm being perfectly honest, I found her performance in the Life Robotic self-indulgent. Okay, crew, I'm opening the latch to the vent shaft and going in to neutralize the dingers. Eight, you stand back. I don't want you to get any human on you. Oh, thank you, Hondo. Uh, now that's client satisfaction. <laughs> so I'm going into the vent shaft, and Influx hands me some dumb gadget he made. Okay, this here's a gigasonic neurodisruptor. One pulse in every human in a 10-meter radius. Instant sleep mode. Oh, and there's a Pico scanner to track algorithmonati activity. Okay, boring. You're putting me into instant sleep mode. You know what? Eight Blanchett wants a show, so I'm gonna give her a show. You ready? Here I go! Hundo! Ah! Suddenly, Hundo just started blasting all the dingers. Yo, take that! Ah! And that! Ah! She was leaping, turning, shooting. It was thrilling and bloody and beautiful. Eat radon, you friggin' water brains! I hate working with level threes. Yeah, I love violence! Have <laughs> <sighs> 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 you seen that, Aunt oh, Thank you, Hundo. Well, that blew up my hangover. Hundo ethical relocation ethical like it says on the side of influx kilt she did neutralize the dingers yeah kip besides they only shot their arms off they'll grow back no they won't what you told me they would i was joking you joke what are you talking about i'm hilarious coming up on human be gone the job takes a surprising turn put it down i'm sensitive back there after these important messages you're not one of the lazy robots. You work hard, play hard, and work hard. That's why you reach for Energex. Energex contains photons, positrons, and kick-ass trons, so you can work all night. Energex for real robots, a member of the Ren4 family of products. Prolonged exposure to Energex may cause fluid retention, servo damage, short-circuiting, hematitis, neural implosion, factory reset syndrome, sleep mode terrors, crash failure, the malfunction known as crazy arms, and rapid onset spinning beach ball. As a retired algorithm, you've led a full life. I ran entire human governments, I tell you, and they didn't even know it. So live your remaining cycles in comfort and dignity at Probability Acres. We're dedicated to the care of algorithms in the twilight of their span. I just fed them ridiculous memes, and then they gave me all the earthy information. Probability Acres. Haven't you done enough? A member of the Ren4 family of products. We now return to Human Be Gone. We wrangle up the neutralized dingers and put them in cages. Then we round up the rest of the colony, the caretakers and the pre-devs. I shine my light down the vent shaft. There they are, huddled against each other in a corner, trembling in their own filth, so helpless and frightened. Hard to believe that not too long ago, these ugly little things used to rule the planet. Makes you think about the utter fragility of our existence. But at any point, any of us could Okay, be... let's scoop them and coop them. On it! <laughs> We're about to take off to relocate the humans. But it looks like A. Blanchett has some unfinished business with Kit and Hondo. Look, Kilt, I don't like drama. <laughs> no, uh, me neither. I feel like when Hondo neutralized the dingers, you cared more about the humans than you did the client. 
Kate Blanchett was, well, starting to become what we in the business call a KRN, knowledgeless random nullifier. The way I see it, there's really only one solution to this problem. Hundo. Hmm? I'll be taking you out tonight. <coughs> for a corporate lube. <coughs> really interlink this new client-vendor relationship thingy. Hmm. Kent, how does that sound to you? <coughs> really, Kate? Y you're okay with this? Oh, of course, of course! Interlink, interlink! I was surprised Kit wanted me to go out with Abe Blanchett because you know, he knows I'm literally a sex machine. <laughs> I never had a corporate lube. You know, that sounds cool. Plus, Abe Blanchett is hot in a scary kind of way. I am going to grind that hundo down to hot iron filings. Four stars from Abe Blanchett. <laughs> wow, I am so happy right now. <laughs> with all the humans in my rear compartment, me and Hundo take off from Ape Blanchett's estate to fly the humans to their natural habitat. We're flying over the specific ocean, coming up to Garbage Island. Garbage Island is exactly what it sounds like. A massive island of plastic garbage made by the humans for mm, some reason. The decomposition of the plastic generates a lot of heat, so it's great for humans and their weak internal hardware. So, after human extraction, what me and Influx do is fly the little buggers here, drop them back where they belong. Opening my rear hatch in three, two, one. They don't. I know that. They don't reattach. I know that now. All humans deployed. Sending the course back to Droidston. Now that the job is done, Influx and me fly back to Human Be Gone so I can get ready for my corporate lube with Ape Blanchett that I am totally stoked for because now I'm Hondo P. Single. Back here at Human Begone, it's time to unload and clean up. The humans did a real paint job in my rear containment area, so Kit has to hose me out. See, before I was super happy about Hundo and Ape Blanchett going out for their corporate lube, but now I'm kind of worried. Hundo's in such a vulnerable state right now, and as much as I like Ape Blanchett, fake mounts and all, I just worry that she may take advantage of the client-vendor relationship and put Hundo in a compromising position. So I'm not sure I'm okay with just sitting back and letting Hundo, my employee and friend, get trapped in such a toxic situation. Kay. a little to the left. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. I get myself suited and booted for my big date with Ape Blanchett. Fresh wires, vintage treads, Hundo is ready to play some algorithm in blues. <laughs> you, you get it? <laughs> yeah, but then Kit has to harsh my buzz. I'm worried for you, that's all. Worried for me? You were so happy about it. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, I'm I was trying to keep the client happy. You didn't even come to the job yourself. Influx said there was no room in all the cages. What? We can fit cages in cages. We could have totally had room. Influx, is that true? Eight Blanchett is just another rich algo artificially propped up by the inane social construct that is celebrity. I did you a favor. Influx, you are such a K-hole! All I'm trying to do is keep this business going, and all you two are doing is trying to tear me down! Okay, okay, see? This is why Hundo can't date you, because you make everything about you! Oh, I see. And while you're all worried about us, is that right, little Miss Two Orgasmatrons? Oh, okay, you know what? Whatever. I'm going on this date. Fine, great. Enjoy your corporate lube with old fake mounts. Yeah, you know what? I will. And also, you know what? You're the K-hole. You're the one who leaked herself in my best Maddie rice bed. You are lucky that guys, I Guys, guys, guys. You're forgetting two very important things. Maybe the two most important things. What's that, Influx? Yeah, what's that, Influx? Kit, 
you really got to get all my nooks and crannies. And Hondo, make sure to look out for any algorithmonati oh, insignia when you go out with. God. Algorithmonati! No, 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 no. This is important. This goes all the way to the top. I've got proof. You want your nooks and crannies? Fine. I'll hose out your nooks and crannies. Turn it down, turn it down. I'm sensitive back there. Hundo, if you go on that corporate loop with that eight to inch of parts, I swear I will disarticulate your. (laughs) When Kit started yelling, I thought he was faking one of his emotional panic attacks, you know, to get sympathy, but it turns out we had a stowaway from the ape Lanchette job. (laughs) Nooks and crannies. Told ya. When it crawled up on me at first, I was like, oh my goodness! But then when I stopped panicking, it stopped panicking. Oh, look! It crawled up into my grippers! Kit, you gotta be careful with humans. Most of their excretions are acidic. They'll damage your panels. Oh, it's so soft and mushy. (laughs) Look, it's playing with my antenna! (laughs) It tickles! Get that thing out of my butthole. What Kit doesn't realize is that humans are a ton of work. Feeding, cleaning, crate training. I told her we should just take it to Garbage Island where it can live with its own kind. Oh, you don't think I can take care of a human? You, you get queasy at the sight of brake fluid. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you're an emotional abacus who can't even take care of herself. Abacus is a hurtful word, and I should never have used it. What I should have said was processing disabled. I sincerely apologize and will strive to be a better robot going forward. So that's how Kit wants it? Cool. Then I'm going to my corporate lube with sexy ape Blanchette. No, Hundo, no, no. I didn't mean it. Yeah, no, you did. You did mean it, and uh, oh, so what? that's it. Hundo dot underscore exit. Hundo, stop. Please wait. Oh, what? Wait, wait for what? I, I was thinking that we could... Uh, what, what? We could what? We could... We could... We could raise the human together. Wow. Uh, really? It would solve all our relationship problems. It would? I'm uh, sure. Humans did it all the time, so it must have worked, right? I guess so. Humbly? Yeah, Kitley Whitley? I think we're going to be wonderful. (laughs) I told him, but Kit isn't a good listener, like I am. (laughs) Humans are disgusting. (laughs) The human needed to go back into the cage, but it didn't want to. Stop struggling, please. Kids being all gentle with the human, but they don't feel pain. Their brains are too small. So I just grab the thing and throw it in the cage. <laughs> and stand. S- stay. I'll hose the human down. Thank you, Influx. <laughs> Today, we did a big job for a very famous algorithm. We found a large nest of about 20 humans, and we got them back to their habitat. Pretty much safe and sound. As it turns out, Ape Blanchett canceled the corporate loop with Hundo. So, Ape Blanchett did not cancel? I bailed. Just want to make that clear. Hundo! Plus, we got a new member of the crew. I'm going to call it Poo Poo. Oh, yeah, look, there's still crap on him. Incoming! Overall, a pretty marvelous day for... Human Be Gone, Gone, Dinger Danger, was written and directed by Drew Froman and David Stinson. Kit was played by Paul J. Piekoszewski. Hundo was played by Kat Letwin. Influx was played by Ian Slesser. Poo Poo and Most Humans were played by Greg Allen, with special guest Carolee Larson as Ape Blanchett. Additional voices by Renee Jensen, Greg Allen, Clive Desmond, Oliver Wickham, Natalie Antea, Soren Stinson, Raven Stinson, and Drew Froman. Recorded and mixed by David Stinson. Music by Oliver Wickham. Sound design by Adam Ive. Human Begone logo by Rob Collinette. Very special thanks to Clive Desmond of Pod Planet. Additional thanks to Corey Doran and Kim Hurden. 
Executive Producers, Drew Froman, Steve Gadsden, and Dana Gadsden. Human Be Gone was created by Drew Froman and is produced at Tattoo Sound and Music. Human Be Gone will be back next month. Until then, may all your variances be positive.